Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a quick video on the Lifetime 80 gallon compost tumbler. I got this to help uh, create compost for my square foot gardens that I'm building. There's a section right there, I don't know if you've ever done that, but it is the, the best way I've ever seen to garden. Uh, this is a, like I said, it's 80 gallon, it's plastic, you can, once you put this stuff in, you can tumble it, and the uh, tumbling action helps to make the compost um, break down faster and it also keeps it out of sight and then when you're adding um, kitchen scraps and such it doesn't let the pest get in and then attract you know mice and other things so we're gonna put this together in the video today and show you a little bit how it works okay here's the contents of the box got a couple ends some hardware the base three sides and more of the base and some other hardware okay the tools you're gonna need for this are a drill um, ratchet with a half inch socket, Phillips screwdriver, 17, 7 16 inch wrench, 3 quarter inch wrench, and they recommend a, using a rubber mallet. Can't find mine, I'm going to use a hammer, so I'm just, that's just the way I'm going to do it. Don't recommend it. Okay, here on the base, you'll see that the uh, powder-coated black part here attaches right here with to the galvanized bottom of the base. There's a hole here, and they give you self-tapping screws. So you're gonna have to lay it down so you can get some weight on your drill to actually make that tap. And so you want to put some cardboard underneath here while you do it to keep the uh, powder coat from scratching. Okay, I'm finding that this, these self-tapping screws are a little bit difficult to get through here. So, and also this is causing this to separate when I'm trying to put so much pressure on it with the self-tapping screws. So, I personally am going to find it easier to take a 332nd drill bit and pre-drill the hole right here on every one. And then I'll use the self-tapping screw. The next step is to assemble the spring loaded latch. So you just slide that spring on. And then you go to the inside of the frame here on the stand. You slide that through. And that's basically it for now. There's some additional hardware now that goes on the stand. Just a bracket and a single bolt. We'll see the square hole there on each end. And now another one goes on the other end, goes in the square hole. Tighten both sides with a 17, 7 16 inch wrench. Okay, next you have to assemble or pre drill the sides for assembly. You've got three of these sides. Very important here. You're only supposed to drill through these little indentions here. You're supposed to drill with an eighth inch drill bit. You're only supposed to drill two of these panels. The third one you do not touch. So only drill the holes in two of these panels.
See, now I'm drilling the other side. Okay, that's the last hole on the second panel. And again, the third one, I'm not going to touch it. Okay, there's two ends, identical ends, and you have to drill the little indentions here and here, and there's none on the top to drill, so, but you do drill both ends all the way here, 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 and here. And I am using a, an eighth inch drill bit still, just like I did on the side panels. these reinforcement plates on each end. Um, it's got this hole in the center and it's got this lip around it. That goes to the inside. One of the ends has a sticker, a warning sticker, and it goes up near this logo. And that's going to be a warning sticker for that spring-loaded catch. And you use these small bolts provided with these washers to attach it. Okay, I'm attaching to the other side. I'm using a washer and this little nut with a black cap on it. And I'm gonna hold it on one side with a Phillips screwdriver. I'm gonna tighten it with that half inch ratchet. Same thing on this side, a little lip sticks to the inside, there's a little alignment tab there. No sticker on this end, so just repeat the same process. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to assemble, right here in the picture you might be able to see it, assemble the bolt and the washers and the spacer. This is actually what the uh, big tumbler pivots on. So put the small BIO on, you put the spacer on it. There's another large bolt that goes on. So it looks basically like that. And then it shows putting grease, which is in this little package here. It's lithium grease, or no, it's some kind of grease. It shows it actually squirting some on this spacer here. So this part's going to get a little messy. Recommend having a couple of paper towels by you while you do this. Small washer, large washer, spacer. I think they might could have put a better package in there to spread the grease on with. A little Ziploc bag, he's not that great. Okay, those are ready for the next step.